Mad Max in Ivan's, Utah. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm if you see more better, looking more better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut your Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lenses with the Photo Fusion Gray and DuraVision Chrome for your Oakley 8046, which is the airdrop in the 57 eye size color 01 satin black. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I do want to point out that I am an authorized Oakley dealer. I just do not have a lot, the majority, almost all of the frames not listed on my website yet. But if there's an Oakley frame you want, just go to the contact me page of the website. Let me know what model number, size, and color. And if you really want to be nice, email me a picture of your prescription with your pupillary distance. Tell me what lenses you want. I'll check on price and availability and tell you exactly how long everything's going to take. Now, this is everything that I get from Oakley, including some junk mail, which you're going to get, too. That just comes in the box. You're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging. It comes in a hard shell case with Oakley there and on the inside. This doubles. This is your cleaning cloth. It doubles as a carrying bag if you don't want to carry around the hard case. And inside of that is the star of the show, the main attraction. It comes with a little plastic sleeve on the temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. Of course, this is the airdrop, the layman's terms. From Oakley, it is the OX8046, color 01, which again is the satin black and the 57 eye size. The satin black just means matte black with a black emblem. It comes in about five or six different colors. Satin Corten, 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 which is a copper color. The gray smoke, actually really good, but it only comes in three. This frame comes in four sizes, 51, 53, 55, and auctioneer. Do I hear 57 going once, going twice? 57 sold to Mad Max in Ivan's, Utah. But... The color 03, the smoke gray, only comes in a 55 eye size. Go figure why they don't make it in the larger. I do not know. But let me go ahead and pop out the original demo lenses that you will be receiving. And I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Oh, but I got to sign a number to this. You are Secret Agent 2891. That's because years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can pull up this barcode and we'll have your pupillary distance and progressive height typed in there hang on i know i got a paper clip Ooh, i'm down to my last one last one i don't know where these things go i think they get lost in the dryer with my other sock which would be weird okay so secret agent 2891 i'm going to hit the start button Little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Oakley frame that I offer on or not on the website yet, and I will include one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they're prescription or not. Now you'll get the full reimbursement from your health savings account flex dollars. I am considered out of network. I do not take any insurances, but with my receipt, you will get your out of network reimbursement. So that green shape is the lens shape that I'll be cutting. Move on to the next screen. You need to enter your pupillary distance of 66. Divided by two is, what is that? What is that? Come on, anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Okay, 33. Now the computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the plus button once. Tap, tap, tap. Um, yo, I'm going to tap that button. <laughs> it goes up to, goes up in half millimeter, millimeter increments to 33. I want to raise the optical center height to 19. Now your lenses come... Well, I've put three dots on them, but they come, that's what I love about Zeiss, is they document everything. Document, document, document. It's got the prescription on the packets. You've got an 8 by 11 piece of paper that is, has even more technical info. The next time you go to the doctor and they casually ask, what are you wearing? Boom, hand them this. It shows that this is the Progressive Light D from Zeiss. It has got, it shows... 
the refractive index of polycarbonate 1.59 they're photofusion gray it's got the prescription and starting off in plus cylinder but we do it now in minus the bifocal strength and that's for the right eye for the left it's got everything on there it's got your PD and actually I made an executive decision I pre-ordered the lenses before the frame come in I'm cutting this one at 19 high and you can take that to your doctor now being digital freeform progressive they have a compensated distance and near formula all that is on there the laser engravings that come on every progressive lens that's what these dots are in the middle of the laser engravings this layout if you were to put the right lens over those two squares that gives you the layout for the lens you got it all there so let's see oh this is a block or as I like to call it Jenny if I can pick one up Jenny from the block I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting so I've got two double-sided adhesive stickers here the black side is the sticky side I'm gonna stick that on the first block place it on the platform do the same thing now for the second one pull the paper away to make the black side sticky that silver button on the back is a magnet it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm and I need to change the layout screen from single vision to progressive getting everything laid out laid out as such and hit that button the arm's going to come down place the block onto the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right which I can identify with which will be played by the left lens tonight and again I document everything this is the right lens Zeiss progressive light d18 1.59 the refractive index of polycarbonate photo fusion gray DuraVision chrome anti-glare your prescription bifocal strength the progressive power and now I'll do the same thing for the left prescription for the left plus one and a quarter minus 50 at 98 the left lens plus one and a quarter minus 50 at 98 250 add power now if you guys missed any of that let me recap yes free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses part of the reason I'm doing that is so you know you're getting the manufacturers original packaging that even mentioned that this is sunglass level UV protection in a clear lens so oh there it is I've already pulled the sticker off same PD same optical center height same bat channel same bad jokes same hurricane bearing down on North Carolina tonight my home state Isaiah is that it who, who names their kid Isaiah and who names a hurricane Isaiah hit that button the arm's gonna come down and place the block onto the lens now it has poured all day we had a storm lightning struck really not you know, I knocked out phone and internet so I couldn't even cut lenses for a little bit today because I'm about to hit this button which is going to transfer the data I just entered over to here transfer job ID number 2891 secret agent 2891 or as I like to say installment 2891 of my third 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America so Mad Max and everyone else stay tuned for episode number 330 million because something wacky is about to happen so grab my stylus it's so nice isn't it so these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex I would select the material I'm not going to polish the edge because it's not going to be seen in this frame anyway I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens now the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material till it's the final size this wheel in the center is going to put the v-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame now let's go ahead and wake up actually no i just need to hit the start button so press the sticker on there firmly place the magnet into the chuck or as i like to call it the charles because i just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck if you can think of a funnier joke write it down on a hundred dollar bill mail it to me and i'll read your joke on the air you don't even have to include your name i'll recognize your handwriting and give you credit for the joke hit the green start button the door closes the clamp shuts the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame and you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens 
length and then measuring twice cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which you will have none in this frame but it's just a routine procedure and I do cut very strong lenses all day long for how much for free with the purchase of any frame and that does become more critical on the higher powers now the water in the background is there to catch the optical sawdust if the lens ever touches down on the cutting wheel but polycarbonate lenses cut dry meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting unlike plastic high index plastic and trivex have the water spraying on it for the duration now water will spray onto your lens but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of your lenses but your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic it is virtually unbreakable this is the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris and their oakleys now speaking of protection it has 100 percent uva and uvb protection we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin well your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes unlike the lotions creams and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied unlike the lotions creams and sprays that do have to be reapplied every couple hours there in ivan's utah speaking of protection it also has 30 to 50 percent blue light protection you have the DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare, which is three treatments in one. The first treatment, it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights, out comes the disc that's going to do the safety bevel. Now, the second feature is it reduces reflection, so when someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses, so it makes for much better eye contact. Or if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see your phone in the lens. Or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you're less likely to see that in the lens. The other feature is it becomes with the industry's hardest scratch coating to protect the lens. The machine that applies the anti-glare costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So I'm going to tuck this in at the outside corner, push down with my thumbs. It does not want to go. So I'm going to take about a tenth of a millimeter off. One, two, because it goes down in half millimeter increments. Again, the door closes, the clamp shuts. And I'm going to take one tenth of a millimeter off going all the way around the circumference of your lens. If I wanted to cheat, I could heat the frame up causing it to become pliable and pop the lens in. But if the lens were too tight, it would cause your frame to stretch or what we in the industry call roll. If you can imagine your frame with the bevel being like a gutter. If the lens were too tight, it applies force to the frame constantly. The thinnest part of your lens is at the very bottom. It causes the bottom of the frame to roll outwards, giving you an ugly cosmetic look as well as shortening the life of the frame. So you want a perfectionist like me who cuts every pair of lenses that gets shipped worldwide. It is a corny saying. But the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra at the beginning. So that's what I do. It's not like you live next door. So I want to make everything perfect. You get one chance for a first impression. Alright, so it's just finishing up. If we're lucky it'll fit if you're unlucky i'll have to make up more stuff to talk about while this is getting cut smaller by the way i opened that door with my mind i can do other things with my mind i can melt ice with my mind i just have to stare at it for a couple hours in hot weather then i can melt it all right so again we're going to tuck this in at the outside corner using my thumbs push down the nose now it snaps in there easily flip that over to l let me look at something we're good to go place the magnet into the chuck the charles the chucky baby or today i'm calling it the mad max hit the green start button the door closes the clamp shuts just like before it's going to be traced by the two white styluses making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the frame and you can see as it's going around tracing the shape of the left side and just like before it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing mad max look at that you got nothing you got nothing there no edge thickness so 
We're going to pull the block off, pull the sticker away, use my hand approved drying method, add to my sticker collection. We're going to come down here. The dot's gone. Let me put some more dots on here. Dun 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 dun. Dot 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 dot. Okay, so with those dots again, those laser engravings, place it over my layout chart. Put that dot there again. If you guys missed any of that, let me recap. You know I gotta sneak that joke in as many times as I can. So I'm gonna put it in over the dot I just created. Dot 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 dot. Turn the axis wheel to 82. Ooh, almost nailed it. Read the power. And I am getting plus 125. One tick mark past one going towards two. And the pluses, the black pluses. See the plus sign, not the red minuses, the black pluses. Ooh, there's thunder outside. So, the unit of measurement we use is called adopter, spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R. Starts at zero and goes up in quarter increments. So you're on the fifth rung of a ladder. 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, one, one and a quarter is the fifth rung. Now, once everything is the correct size, you have an additional three steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike with the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine two knob. So we're going to turn that fine two knob to 82, which we did. Let me read the second power. And we're getting... What am I? Wait. Plus 125 minus 75. Yeah. Okay. Plus 50. Exactly halfway between 0 and 1. That threw me off. How do we get there? Imagine that uh, we started you at $1.25 and someone borrowed 75 cents from you. You would have 50 cents left. That's where we're at. 50 in the black. Now your right eye, you need the same amount of far-sighted correction, but only two steps of stigmatism correction. And we're gonna turn that fine two knob to 98. A straight line is zero to 90 to 180. For the right eye, we stop just shy of the 90 to 82. For the left eye, we're gonna go past it to 98. Now you need an additional, that's why it's called an add. For That's your distance correction. You need an additional two and a half doctors of plus power to see far away. Forgot we put this at 19. So, if you were to buy over-the-counter reading glasses, you add those two numbers together and you'd need about a 375, about a 275 to 3 for the computer, a 375 to see up close. So let's go ahead and take the left lens out, dry everything off, make sure all the optical sawdust is off the edge of your lens, go ahead and pop it into the frame, again tuck it in at the outside corner, press down at the nose snaps in there the way it's supposed to pull the block away use my hand approved drying method throw that in there add to my sticker collection man i'm just cleaning off the, my stickers hey chair dot 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 dun 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 dot 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 dun 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 all right <laughs> <laughs> don't I don't need any of y'all I can play with myself wait think about your words think about your words okay so turn the fine two knob to 98 read the power plus one and a quarter one tick mark past one you have half a doctor of astigmatism correction if all goes well we'll end up at plus 75 look at that just above the half mark going towards one now you're PD is 66. The optical center height is 19. I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb. When we get there and read it here, we're getting 66 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. I must have stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. Now, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the deepest part of the frame. We're getting 19 millimeters. 19 millimeters. That is cut perfectly. Now the last step of final inspection is to get everything in standard alignment, also known as the three-point stance. But this is where I take the time in every video to mention that Mad Max, when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there is an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 
of which I'm part of. 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them, but I'm going to get them in standard alignment first, also known as the three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. When I set them down, there is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing my own design. This is the Christian Eyewear Philippians 413 which is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Comes with You can get it with uh, three primary colors, black, tortoise, or purple. Each of those three colors comes with either a gold or purple, listen to me, a gold or silver cross. I don't know where the purple came from. All right, let me, I can't think without my glasses on, so let me put my glasses on so I can talk normal. Flip these over, press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. Get that tissue off from the that was on the counter from those things when I was cleaning it I'll get that cleaned off now Mad Max I send out a selfie request in every package go back I'm gonna send out I want you to think of me for two I want you to send me one when one indoors when they're clear one outside when they're dark gray now I also send out cleaning instructions not only for every frame and lenses but also for your cleaning cloth the premium one that I provide your Zeiss cloth your Oakley cloth and how to care for your case so it too will last you for years. No other seller does that on the internet, I am told. By people who have purchased from elsewhere before coming to me. Now I field test every cleaning cloth so to make sure that it works. When you get this in the mail you see a wrinkle, you know that it works. You can't say that it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and expose these to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. And as you're about to see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for all photochromic transition lenses to turn dark. A little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. Now this is important. Mad Max and everyone else listening, all photochromic lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks are exposed. The only time they won't work perfectly is if you're behind the windshield of your car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. Now, they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. And as I keep talking, you will see these get lighter and lighter. Don't worry, they'll get darker than this. Come on, Mad Max, we talked about this. Don't you remember? But uh, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell icon in the bottom right-hand corner, and you can subscribe and get notifications of future lens and frame combinations as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses, on Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions, just go, like if there's a frame you want that I don't have listed, just go to the Contact Me page of the website. Let me know which model number, size, and color, and I'll check on price and availability for you. And again, if you really want to be nice, you can upload a picture of your prescription and tell me your pupillary distance and what lenses you want. Excuse me. <coughs> I talk till I'm dry in the throat. And, you know, I'll check on the price and availability and tell you exactly how much everything is going to cost and how long it will take. And of course, you can also leave a question or a comment in the comment section below. And as I keep talking, these will be back to clear in no time. But Mad Max in Ivan's Utah, thank you so much. By the way, this frame, I'm going to stall so these get back to clear. This frame, the Oakley 8046 Airdrop in either 51, 53, 57, or 58, this is the 57, sells for $178 with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. Your Progressive, the Zeiss Light D Digital Freeform Progressive upgrade is $149.99. The Photo Fusion Gray adds $99.99. And the DuraVision Chrome Anti Glare adds $69.99 for a total of $497.97. Throw an extra $97 for yourself. But um, tax free. And the reason why I point that out now is that a lot of people on the Internet are having to charge tax. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax collected on medical devices, so that's how I'm able to remain tax-free with free shipping. I am a licensed optician with 21 years experience. Every pair of lenses gets cut by a licensed optician, and that way you can, I can verify the accuracy, not just on what you see, but I document everything. 
and we'll send you all the manufacturer's original packaging so you know that you're getting the best. And again, Mad Max and Ivan's Utah, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley 8046 Airdrop, color 01 Satin Black in the 57 eye size with your Zeiss Progressive and Photo Fusion Gray DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare. And now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.